In this tutorial you will create a game timer in Unreal Engine 5. The minutes and seconds will be shown on screen. Use it as a game timer or for speedruns. For this example I'm using the third person template but you can add this to any project that you like. So let's get to work and create this timer. Inside of my blueprints folder I'm opening up my character class. Then in the event graph make sure you have some room and let's add two variables, the seconds and the minutes. Hit the plus icon, hit the seconds and instead of a boolean we're going to create an integer Hit compile and make sure this is at 0 seconds, which at default it is. Then the minutes also compile and leave it at 0. Then right click and add event tick. This will go every tick and then D click to add a delay node. And let's set the duration of 1. So every second we will update our seconds. So alt drag out our seconds and then control drag out our seconds to get the seconds. Hit the plus icon and add 1 second every second. Then we want to check when we reach 59 seconds because then when it goes to 60 you want it back at 0. So B click to add a branch and let's check for a condition. Let's get the seconds and if the seconds are greater than 59, if this is true then we need to do something. That means we have a minute passed. So set the minutes get the minutes and let's hit the plus icon to add one minute to our current minutes at first this is zero but then we will loop over this and this can also increase in minutes and also the seconds is no longer 59 or 60 but we will set it back to zero so hit compile now we want to show this on screen so in your content drawer you can create a new folder or just go here to user interface and then widget blueprint let's click user widget select and let's name this one timer for example open this one up and i like to dock this right next to this one then look for a canvas panel and drag this on top of our timer here now we have something to work with okay let's first look for some text drag this on top of your canvas panel and let's anchor this Control click to the middle here of the screen okay now this text block let's use size to content you can also under appearance font increase the font for example something you can read better and also the outline settings let's change this to one for example so you can really see clearly when you have a white or transparent background okay now let's also change the content inside of text block you're going to put zero zero so we have something to compare our minutes or seconds with let's duplicate this two more times one two f2 to do rename this one to minutes F2 to rename that one below here to colon and the other one F2 to rename this to seconds okay the one of the minutes stays then let's rearrange this one so the colon doesn't work here my mistake you can also name this separator I will change it here you can also see it here so separate it right there inside of content you can also use the colon right there and then the seconds will be right here Okay, to align this we can also add a horizontal box and drag this on top of the canvas panel. Let's choose this one right here, anchor this control click there, so we can put this nightly here. Then shift click this one on top and drag on top of the horizontal box. Then select your horizontal box and click size to content. So now these are nicely aligned and make sure these are aligned here on this line as well. You can also click the horizontal box and then change the positions a bit with it as well. When you're happy with your timer, hit compile. Now, make sure you have the minutes selected. And inside of the content, we have the text. And this one to be my minutes. And later on, this for the seconds. Click back to the minutes. And under content text, make sure you click binding, create binding. First, we're going to go to the event graph. Because we are going to need a reference to my files and my seconds and minutes right here. So, back to the event graph of my timer. From event construct, drag this out. Get actor of all classes. Then find our BP third person character or anything that you used before. From out actors, drag this out, type in get and then get copy. Then from this pin, right click promote to variable. You can also rename this variable, for example, character reference or something like this, so you can recognize as a character reference and also connect these nodes up like this. Then you can go back to your designer, 
Have your minutes selected and go back to that binding previously, which was here under content, text, and then create binding, or we come back here to that screen we were before. So get the minutes right here. So we have our character reference, drag this one out, then get the minutes, and then we drag into the return value, but you're not done yet, so let's set this to two digits, minimal and maximum, so we have two digits up on screen. Let's go back to the designer graph, grab the seconds, also hit bind, create binding, and for the seconds, let's drag this one out. You can see this is the same character reference, drag this one out, get character reference, get the seconds this time, and also plug this one in here, and also change this to 2 and 2, hit compile. Right now, we don't see anything on screen, so I'm going to go back to my character event graph, and underneath here, right click event begin play because when the game begins i want to create this timer widget on my screen so create widget select class you see the timer return value add to viewport hit compile play and now when i'm playing you can see my timer nicely on my screen it will count up to 59 and then it changes to one minute i will speed this up so you can really see this And there you have it, you can see the minute and the seconds are still running and it fits right on the screen with the minutes and seconds correctly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, for more videos like this check out the channel, have a great day and see you around.